So if I put in my 8.5 by 11 original this way, mm -hmm. oh, let's see. I have something on the glass here. No, apparently not. Yeah. Oh, that's what it's telling me to snug up those guys. Mm -hmm. There we go. <coughs> mm. Okay, there we go. If I push the start button, it's going to scan this. It'll pull the 11 by 17 from tray 4. It'll take that image and rotate it 90 degrees because the paper is sideways in tray 4. And it's the image, so it fits on the bigger paper. And this is what we would get. Right now. Okay. So that's all automatic. Somebody asked me, well, what if we don't have 11 by 17 paper in it? Then this is going to turn orange. It'll tell you up here to add paper. It will basically it's telling you, mm -hmm. hey, I don't have any 11 yeah. by 17, put some in the paper drawer. And then it will work after that, mm -hmm. okay? A question. Mm -hmm. Does yes, staff have the ability to add paper or is that only going to be done by the... The guy comes around? Yeah. No, you'll be able yeah. to add paper. So you said they're, they're not going to supply the 11 by 17 paper anymore. Yeah. That's correct. So we won't have 11 by 17 paper to offer. Well, there are some, some people that have told me that they're going to, they're going to, on their own, they're going to yeah. get a supply of 11 by 17, or have the patrons come in. Yeah. I don't know what they yeah, mean. Well, that, 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 they're telling me they have 11 by 17 paper right. already, and right. I was under the impression yeah. that yeah. They, they were getting it on their own someplace. No, anyway. we've been getting it. You have? It's, okay. It's great for doing, you know, the two yeah. sides of a magazine, the two pages yeah. at one. You get yeah. two for the price of one, basically, mm -hmm. for the 10 cents. Mm -hmm. So it's, That's it's very true. Fun. Probably not use that much. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, that's a good point. But it's good if you have the prices are the same regardless of the page size, mm -hmm. by the yeah. way. Oh, okay. So prices oh, will be the same. Okay. okay. Let me see here. Uh, but many times you want to do a custom zoom, mm -hmm. custom size. Let's say I want to blow up my business card to fill a whole mm -hmm. piece of eight and a half by eleven paper. Mm -hmm. How will you do that? I'll show you. I could take my business card. Always oh, goes in the corner, either that way or that way. It kind of doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. <coughs> close the lid, you put in some numbers, you go, whoops, too big, try again, whoops, too small. Uh -huh. So there's a way to kind of get around that, that trial okay. and error to save your, your, a little money and save a little time and frustration, and here's what it is. I'm going to take this here, and all I'm doing right now is measuring it. All of our machines have rulers next to the glass that are laid out in inches mm -hmm. and back here in millimeters. Mm -hmm. So I put it in the corner, it's telling me my business card is three and a half inches wide. I could measure it this way too, it's still telling me three and a half inches, all right? Mm -hmm. So now I know three and a half inches. I already know that this is 8.5 by 11, this is 11, so bear with me here. 3.5 plus 3.5 is 7, plus 3.5 mm -hmm. is 10.5. Mm -hmm. Because I can put three of these side by side on this piece of paper, I can blow this up three times, mm -hmm. fill the whole thing, 300%. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Face down in the corner, I'm putting it in this way, because the paper I want to eventually want to print on is in tray 1, also in the machine that way. So this orientation matches the orientation of the paper I want to print on. Okay. We did a test in the last class. I told it tray one, but I moved through the sideways, and it came out wrong. Where did it go? Oh, it came out like that. So it didn't, didn't rotate. Okay. So that's why it's important. All right. So we place that down and close this. I go to zoom. Notice we're at 100%. I could use these plus and minus keys, but see how slow that is? That'll take forever. Mm -hmm. I want to go to manual. It's defaulted here to X and Y axis. That's why that's green. What we're talking about, X axis, Y axis on the paper, mm -hmm. blowing them both up or shrinking them both down together at the same time. Right now we're at 100%. I want 300%. Mm -hmm. 300. Zero, zero. That's 30%. We've got to add one more zero. This is blue. I'm ready to go. But the machine's mm -hmm. going to complain. And the reason it's complaining mm -hmm. is because my business card is an unusual size, it's not mm -hmm. normal paper size. Mm -hmm. It doesn't find any corresponding paper in mm -hmm. here, it doesn't know what to do. Okay. As soon as I tell it, pull it, notice this is orange. As soon as I tell it, pull from tray one, now we're good to go. Mm -hmm. So when you're enlarging something, the extra step will be to tell it which tray to pull it here. If I put my card in there just to make a regular normal size copy, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have to do that. It would copy it just fine. Mm -hmm. okay. So there's my business card at 300%. Last thing to show you, and then we'll move on. Back to manual. The zoom range is anywhere from 25%. So you have something large, you want to shrink it down, you can go as small as one quarter of the size. Okay. Up to 400%, blow up something four times the size. So anywhere within that range, just use your number keys, okay? So it puts it in. Clear key resets it back to 100%. Briefly. If I wanted to, I could put in x-axis and y-axis. Let's say y-axis is 150. 
So x is 100, y is 150, and then they'll take the image and actually stretch it one way or another, depending on the numbers I put in. Um, that's what yeah. that's for. Okay. If you would have to, after you make the one copy and you want to do something different, you have to clear it. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah. Or you hit the reset button and reset. that turns it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Either way. All right. Very good. The last button here: duplex and combine. We have two sections. On the left here: simplex, duplex, single-sided, mm -hmm. double-sided. This button that's highlighted in green is the default, and it's telling me on the little button if I have a single-sided original, I'm going to get single-sided copies. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of folks use this. Two-sided original it gives me two-sided copies. But we have these other two buttons, that guy and that guy. Sometimes people find it a little confusing. When I first started this job, I saw those numbers that always made me think of quantities. How many? Mm -hmm. Wrong on my part. What the numbers mean is single-sided or double-sided. Mm -hmm. So think of, is this one image or two images on, you know, on a piece of paper? In this instance, on the left-hand side, so it's telling me in my little header right here, mm -hmm. on all of those buttons, my original is on the left of the button, and my copies will be on the right of the button. In this instance, my original on the left is two-sided. Mm -hmm. I have two images. Mm -hmm. It's going to use two pieces of paper and give me two single-sided mm -hmm. copies coming out. So I have my two images oh. on separate pieces mm -hmm. of paper. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. The reverse is true here. If I give the machine two one-sided uh, originals, so I've got two pieces of paper with one image on each one, I give them two pieces of paper. It's going to use one piece of paper and print on both sides, and I get a two-sided copy coming out. Okay? okay? And people have asked me, well, how does that work exactly? So I just want to tell you, you take one and two, you put them in here like this, you push start, it scans them. Oh, it's telling me I've got my business card there. Thank you, little machine. It'll stop beeping in a second. One more. That's it. Okay, single-sided originals because I've just got one mm -hmm. image on each piece of paper. And when it prints it out, it'll print it out double-sided like oh, that. Okay. okay. You're charging your patrons per image, not per piece of paper. Mm -hmm. right? So if I've got a two-sided uh, 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 copy like this, it's only one piece of paper, but it's two images, mm -hmm. 20 cents. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, that's going to get interesting. But I make well, it's but but it's still if they print it on 11 by 17 or the legal size, mm -hmm. it's a larger piece of paper, but that's still just one yeah, image. Yeah, we get a lot of people want to can we use two sided copy? Yeah, and right now. No. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that single size. Combining briefly, I'm watching the clock, so I'm going to move this along. Two and one, four and one, and eight and one. If I selected four and one, I give the machine pages one, two, three, four, four sheets. Put them in there. It's going to scan those four images shrink them down, and I will get this, okay? One, two, three, four. That's what horizontal means, one, two, three, four. If I select a four, one, chose vertical, then I get one, two, three, four, yeah. like that. We could also select eight and one. I give it eight full-size pages. It'll take those images, shrink them down, then I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Almost too tiny to be useful, but you could do it. Mm -hmm. Most common is probably this one, two and one. I give it two full-size images. I would get larger images side by side, one and two. Okay. So that's what's going on there with that. That's combining. Those are found in the last book. No finishing. Let us talk about copying books real quick. All right. Okay. <coughs> Let's see here. Where's my book? Oh, it's over here. Grab it real quick.